just live. Um, now, there has been a huge, huge, dramatic change in Fort Park Resort. I say that now. Um, yes, yeah, so big dramatic change in Fort Park Resort. So if you do like what I do, please remember to subscribe and smile always. Um, remember to like the video. Anyways, right. So, big changes. One big change is the fact that the whole skyline of Fort Park is going to change next year, you know. It's going to be... Hyperia dominating every other roller coaster in the UK, uh, including speed and height, so that's quite good. Um, now, there is one little issue with Fort Park and having its current logo, or not current logo now, but its original logo, which it had last year or like moments ago. Anyways, um, so Fort Park logo has gone from this, the Infinity logo, all the way to this. What is this? I actually despise this. Like, if someone can, someone can tell me what this is, no, just no. Because firstly, for what Fort Park? Now I get in their video they said that they're gonna get rid of Fort Park Resort. Stop shouting out the name Fort Park. Because if you look at the other one, you will find that parks all in capital letters because it is all in capital letters. Um, whereas with this one. It's not, it's more in a subtle, subtle environment and it hasn't got resort, neither does this one, but they've said, yeah. Anyways, so with the tallest roller coaster in the UK coming to Fort Park, they needed a change, they said. Um, so it was hinted back at uh, Fright Night when Fort Park came along and went, right, we are going to put a tombstone with the Fort Park's logo on it and just bury it here. So if we look at the Fort Park tombstone, tombstone uh, logo, we, we will find that somewhere, probably not anywhere to be fair. Um, okay, I can't find it. But anyways, they quoted that. Infinity does not last forever, which it does not, because if you look at this, you, you have the Infinity logo, and then you look at this, there's no, there's no Infinity logo. But, but, in their thing, they said this. So, so let me just get up Jack's, uh, silk phone thing. Right, here we go. This is what they've got to say for themselves. Uh, wow, well, when the sound's on. Firstly, firstly, it looks it looks way too sporty because you know you've got the sporty, you've got the rings, and that looks just way too sporty. Secondly, it looks so plain, it looks horrible. I absolutely despise it. And thirdly, this is the tombstone I was on about over here, which says Fort, uh, "Rest in Peace, Fort Park Logo." Infinity does not last forever. Or died of a some ink, some ink, some ink, copyright infringement, some ink, some ink. Um, now, many other people have put, I love the new logo, um, I'm going to be honest, though, it is neat and uniform, it's boring and bland. Uh, please tell me you didn't design this, people didn't want to design it. Uh, can't help but the feel, the stock logo on the website needs colour, it's very boring, but to be fair, it's quite retro. Uh, the Infinity should, should have stayed, it looks terrible. So basically, on the whole, it looks absolutely, like, literally we've got people here saying stuff. Um, I'm a little shocked, ex uh, expected a little more to be honest, it's clean and smart, just not screaming theme park if you pardon. Um, you've got stuff like, nope, prefer the old one much better. What have they done to the logo, it's bland, the old logo was so much better. 
uh, we've got stuff like, I double thought whether it was April the 1st today, <laughs> someone thought it was like, oh god, should have kept the infinity, basically there is a lot of hate though though, and me, myself, I say it, it's horrible, it's horrendous, it actually looks really plain, now if you look at it on the Fork Park website, when I load it up, of course, look how plain this will look, look, that, that just looks plain, compared to this logo which stands out, the rest, like you can see that, you look at this, it's plain and boring, like, what is the logic in this, it looks too, let's just say it looks too athletic or some sort of sport like culture because when we look Anybody here welcome to the future of sport park. i'll show you in a minute wait 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 but even they say here people will forget what you said people will forget what you did but people will never forget how you made them feel what's this meant to feel i have no clue what it meant to be You can also hear music which is not Fort Park related at all. Now if you look, they said they got rid of the Infinity logo, but look at the rings. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure they're using the exact, exact same um, advertisement as they've done for the last few years, which is also a pretty big letdown, only because it's the same advertisement, where's the investment in this rubbish, even though they're saying, oh yeah, we may add... Um, more investment, more lights over the years. What is that going to mean to the prices of the park? Look, look, there's literally. Hang on. Look, it's literally the Infinity logo, just not. Look, look it, it's the Affinity, it's the Infinity logo, you know? What, what, where have they got rid of it? It is pretty concerning. Now, if we look at what they have to say, um, so if we go to the Fort Park website, because. No, Fort Park thing because, you know, why not? So here we go, here's a marketing advertisement. What is this foolery? It, it looks appalling. Now oh, their latest one. Welcome to the thrilling conclusion of our movie series. We're about to embark on an exciting adventure into the future of Thought Park. But before we do, let's take a moment to reflect on how we came this far. In 2019, we made a very conscious effort to bring the Thought Park brand back into the light. For those of you who have been with us since then, you'll remember it was the first year we introduced a range of seasonal events, such as Game Effects and Bounce Dinner. We also began to further embrace the Infinity logo, using it as a unifying That looks so much better, so much better, so much better. Fright Night. Fast forward a few years to today, and we're moments away from unveiling our brand new identity, one that will carry us into a new era of Thought Park. But why now, Jack? Well... The team didn't simply want to unveil a shiny new logo whilst keeping the theme park experience unchanged. So instead, they took a different approach. Behind the scenes, they've been living and breathing the new brand vision of Feel Good Thrills for a few years now. Feel Good Thrills. Sound simple? Exactly. No gimmicks here. They know they're experts at delivering the thrills. They want every person who walks through the gate to leave feeling oh so good, no matter who you are. One of the new core values for the brand is being unapologetically authentic. But what does that really mean? Simply put, they tell it like it is. No sugarcoating, no hiding behind corporate jargon, just the naked truth. Our information is upfront and freely available, so the only surprises on the day are good ones. And honesty works both ways. We want our guests and staff to give us genuine feedback, and we'll act on it. We're on a forever journey to make Thought Park the very best it can be for everyone. So. How have we been living unapologetically authentic? Last year we added ride availability to our website so you always know what to expect ahead of your visit. We also included information like maximum wind speeds and operating temperatures. Yet to so see them. Plan your day around these. Then we launched the Thought Park Pass Holder Group, giving you access to upfront information like never before. These changes might sound small on their own, but they're just a few examples of how Thought Park is being open and transparent. And they're not stopping there. During the close season, the park will be undertaking an ambitious and aptly titled Sparkle Project, investing millions in the park. Right, 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 right. Firstly, what is Sparkle Project? And secondly, where's this investment coming from? Because I'm pretty sure they had to cut, uh, cut taxes for high period, cut, cut taxes. Um, 
cut their budget for Hyperion. So there's something clearly not right here, and something's going to come back on us with the money pricing. Anyways, proceeding. Art-wide improvement. From ride painting... I'm sorry, that was literally the most slowest track replacement ever, just to get it, like, painted or replaced. Like, that was literally done there for Colossus for at least, really, like, two months or something. To theming, sound systems, to facilities. They're leaving no stone unturned. Feel good thrills are at the heart of the amazing new attractions coming your way in 2024. Get ready for the transformation of Angry Birds Land into a brand new, vibrant and colourful area. You didn't say the name, a bit concerned anyways. And of course, we can't forget our newest addition, Hyperia, the UK's fastest and tallest roller coaster. But what sets Hyperia apart? Well, our new goddess oozes positivity. There are no zombies, no gore, and not a shipping container shop in sight. And despite the colossal size of this coaster, the theme is uplifting, not intimidating. They used Colossus, ah. Oh. Our goal is to make Hyperia as accessible to as many people as possible. So we prioritise accessibility throughout the project. We've got a treasure trove of other exciting details that we're keeping under wraps for now. But rest assured, we'll be sharing them with you soon. What, the seats are going to be spinning at the back? Yes, please. So stay tuned for more thrilling updates. Throughout this mini-series, we've embarked on a 40-year journey, looking back at four parts. So we found out quite a few things there. Firstly, they're going to put more money up because clearly they're going to get the money from paint and stuff. They have been something called the Sparkle Project, which is where they go and replace stuff like Towers Love and Care. I'm yet to see Alton Towers put the investment in just for the smile of yes alone Fort Park get the money for this. Um, and the fact that they had budget cuts for Hyperia is pretty concerning because it clearly says the money's coming from somewhere and it's not us. Um, so yeah, that whole new logo is absolute rubbish. It, it looks like they're just bankrupt at this point because it's so basic and lame. Like, they have to do something about it, unfortunately. Um, but yes, that is for me. That's what I think of the logo. That's what I think of the future for Fort Park. It is not very good. It doesn't look very clear either. It's very mm, their marketing's just awful at the size moment. It, Alton Towers is on top always. What what is this? This is appalling. I can find this literally on the internet. Like. I can find the Alton Towers history on the internet. No, Fort Park history on, on the internet, and it'll be way better than this. But we roll with it. Anyways, I'm going to go now. Um, please tell me what you think of the Fort Park on, and its future. I, I really don't think it's a very good future. Um, so yeah, smile always. Remember to subscribe, like the video, and bye guys.